Welcome to a live with Amanda. I'm Amanda Patterson. I am the admin of My Private Practice Tribe, a community on Facebook for those of us in private practice. And I have a group practice, which I'm proud to announce now has two locations, one in Broward and one in Palm Beach County. And I'm telling you about my location because a question came up. I see this again a lot of times coming up and it came to me is where do you buy your furniture and all of the decorations that you have for your office? So that's gonna be our Facebook Live for today. And so when you're going to purchase furniture versus purchasing, let's say, all of the little doodads and pictures, that's probably going to be at two very different places, right? So you're going to want to know what is going to be the vibe of your office. So when you've gone to pick out office space, are you looking for a modern look? Are you looking for like that cozy look? Are you looking for an office space look, right? Like sometimes people who are psychologists who do a lot of testing, they might not want their office to be like couches, they would want something like desks in their office. So I think the first thing that you need to do is think about what is the vibe of the office and what kind of services are you providing out of your office so that you can make sure that your furniture matches whatever services. If you're gonna run group, are you gonna have enough office space? Are you gonna have enough chairs? You're gonna have enough seating. If you're working with kids, is it gonna have like some flexible space? And so you can go to sort of traditional places like the Ashley Furniture, City Furniture. If you're lucky enough to have Ikea near you, that tends to be a really popular place. If you're looking for really modern furniture, you can go to someplace like El Dorado. If you're looking to set your space up more like an office, Office Depot tends to have really good desks. People, if you're brave enough to order from Wayfair, that seems to be another very popular place people are getting things, especially if you're looking for something a little more eclectic or something that might not be in everybody's office. And then there's the good old Amazon. You can order things off of Amazon. Again, if you're brave enough to get it before you actually, you know, see it and, and um, you're not going to have a time to really test it out, but that's okay because something that's great about if you have Amazon Prime is that you can just go ahead and order and send it back if it's not something that you like. And so now we're going to transition to where do you get your rugs, your pictures, your little like, you know, you can see back here I have these like faux plants. I didn't get real plants because I kill real plants. So you want to make sure that you know what, what your threshold is in terms of whether you get real or fake plants. Before I go on, I just want to thank our sponsor, Therapy Notes. I had the pleasure to visit with them last week at their headquarters in Philadelphia. It was an awesome experience, and it just helped to solidify why I've decided to work with them. They're an amazing company. I keep talking about this ping pong table that they have. So if you're looking for an electronic health record that's a full service, somewhere you can bill appointment reminders, you can do treatment plans, you can write your notes, I definitely check out Therapy Notes. So let's go back to talking about where can you get pictures. Hobby Lobby, Target, Home Goods. If you have a Marshalls, Home Goods, those tend to be really good. A, a store that I recently discovered that we got a good amount of stuff at is called At Home. They don't seem to be in every sort of metropolitan area, but I was lucky enough that they recently opened one up near me. And it's like, Marshalls or home goods like on steroids. There was so much stuff in there. It was great. And we were able to find a lot of variety of things for the office. Because again, if you're doing not just a solo practice, but a group practice, people have different tastes. People have different um, feelings when they go into offices that you need a lot of different types of things. So going to somewhere that has like a little bit of larger stuff or a larger selection. But again, if you're looking for something really specific, you can go to places like Pier 1 Imports. They tend to have like some really cool items. Pottery Barn um, has some really unique items. And so you need to decide what you want your office to look like. You can sit down, kind of think about that, close your eyes, think about what you want your clients to feel when they come into your space. How do you want to feel when you come into your space, right? And so you can pretty much probably go to any store that sells you know, home items, pictures, rugs, all of that stuff. We even got some rugs at Costco. They tend to have like some pretty good deals on things. I got the blankets here from Costco. And so I would say just have fun with it and follow your vision around whatever you want your office space 
to look like and I'm sure it will look beautiful. So thanks again for watching Alive with Amanda. If you are brave enough, why don't you share some photos of your office and tell us where you got your stuff at so other people can get some inspiration from you and we can know where to shop. Thanks everybody.